Hey y'all, Chef Outdoors. Bill and I are out here flipping some channel markers, checking some grass flats, see if we can't find some good fish to eat. Stay tuned, see what we do. Ridiculous. He wants to catch catfish and stingrays all day. <laughs> Somebody from the Jackmaster himself. y'all so we got these spanish mackerel back here we're going to clean them up we're going to make a nice ceviche all right all right so we got some spanish here nothing too jumbo just uh some nice spanish just going to go real quick on them and knock them out make some hopefully nice ceviche out of them a little fresh lemon some lime cilantro avocado look at that man these things are like ridiculous it's been a while since i've had a really good filet knife this is a nice treat. So we got the mackerel all cleaned up. We're gonna dice it up and we're gonna make some fresh ceviche. When you get the mackerel fresh, it's always good when it's really fresh. You let it set a day, mm, it's still good to eat. It doesn't taste as good for fresh things like sushi and ceviche and sashimi. But we'll do that too. But today we're just gonna make ceviche. Now ceviche is basically a dish where the seafood is cooked with the acid of the citrus juices. All right. Uh, in this today we're gonna have uh, peppers, onions, and tomatoes. I already diced some of them up. We're also gonna have some jalapenos because I like it spicy. Avocado because you know everybody likes avocados. Well most people like avocados. Uh, also gonna chop up some cucumber for some texture. Um, cilantro because it's got to have cilantro. It's, I think that's a rule. And then we're going to finish it off with some lemons and limes and just a splash of OJ, some salt and pepper. All right, so that's your ingredient list. We're going to knock this out right now. I'm going to start off by juicing some of these limes. When I get limes or lemons or oranges, the first thing I want to do is roll it real hard on the counter. It loosens up all the juices. Again, so we're going to roll it on the counter, loosen up all the juices. Go one by one. Okay. And what it really does, it helps get a lot of extra juice out. Now, if we get some seeds in this, I will definitely strain them out. But as for now, I just really want the juice. So some lemons, limes, and I love lemons and limes. Citrus is awesome. You know, it's where the British Navy got their term limeys. They had to have citrus on the boat to keep away scurvy. And I like to juice my limes just like this. I feel like I get more out of them and I'm eating it so I don't care if my fingers are in it plus the acid kills any bacteria really anyway on your fingers or in the dish so slender. a lot of people like to use a fork or a juicer that's cool works great just you know this is how I'm rolling today <laughs> you got a better way I'm sure you do leave it in the comments strain that out in a minute throw these 
easy on my garbage disposal because I love fresh citrus stuff on garbage disposal. Make a nice uh, twist for the plate because I like lime twists. <laughs> they look cool. Right? Boom. Boom. Look at that. Alright. <laughs> so there we go. Nice lime twist. Looks pretty. Going for the plate. Going to add my orange juice. Okay. And then we're going to get some of this fish. Let's move our fresh ingredients over there. Put that there. And I'm going to get our fish. So I'm wearing flip flops and pants in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, uh, so you, we got our fresh fish. I'm just going to take some of this and start the ceviche. Love my uh, new Danko knives. Like I haven't said it before, I'll say it again. Really like it. Anyway, this uh, fish, we just want to dice it up. Nice squares. Not too small. It's going to get real mushy real quick. So, we want to have some kind of a chunk to it. Don't want to cut up too much either. Because we want to balance the ratio of the vegetables. So if you notice, I cut all the skin off, all the bloodline. If I could get more of the fish into the bowl, that would be awesome too. There's the last of the fish. Well, make sure it's good and in there. I'm gonna add all my onions and peppers, okay? I'll bring over our fresh ingredients. So we got cilantro here and gonna roll and chop it. Let's grab it. Or just squash it and let it dry a little bit. Fresh rough chop on it. Alright, looks good. Take that rough chop cilantro, throw it in there. I love lots of cilantro. I feel bad. I, I hear some people tell me it tastes like soap to them. It doesn't taste like soap to me, it tastes good to me. We got a cucumber, pepino, as they say. And uh, we're gonna take the skin off, at least most of it. It's got that, you know, food wax on it and everything. Sometimes I'll use a peeler. This is just fine. As long as I got most of it off. All right, there we go. And we're gonna dice it. It's pretty good. I like the texture. It adds to the stuff. Again, gonna chop it and leaving the seeds in. Some people don't. I am. Put the cucumber in. Okay, and then we're down. We got an avocado. All right. I always like to grab my avocado, go down the middle, pull it up. Okay. Get the seed. Boom. You hit it. You twist it. it comes right out. Some people like to cut it in. I don't. I like to get a nice kitchen spoon. Put it out. See? Nice and clean. Alright, same thing. You always can tell a good avocado. It's soft, but it's still firm. A little bit of the seed. Again, we're gonna chop it up into my stuff. It's like a one pot wonder, right? But not least, we're gonna finish with the jalapeno. Flip my cutting board over. I'm gonna take the jalapenos and I am gonna cut the tops, cut them down the middle, and I will remove the seeds. Now, if you want to add a different flavor to this, you could grill these jalapenos. If you smoke them, it becomes a chipotle pepper, and I do love chipotle, so I wouldn't be against that. Anyway, just wanna get most of the seeds out. Ah, it's gonna be a spicy ceviche. Sizzling without the cook, right? Jeez. So, I got pretty much all the seeds out. There might be a couple left. We're gonna take this, and we're gonna chop them up. Fairly small dice. I'm gonna grab this and mix it in. So we are like right there. This is pretty much game time. Gonna add a little salt and pepper to taste. A little 
little salt, a little pepper, more pepper because I like pepper, a little granulated garlic. So a lot of times I'll put fresh garlic in, but I like it when I get the fresh garlic and chop it up. And right now I only have some prepared, so I'm just gonna go with the powder. Anyway, we can take our avocado spoon and we can mix this all together. And man, that's a heck of a concoction here. Let me tell you what, it's kind of like seafood salsa. Anyway, you want to let it sit in this for a while, let the flavors get happy with each other, just as low on one another, and make it a mess. Ruby! That's why I have a dog, because, you know, dogs love seafood, or any other food. I don't think they're that particular, to be honest. You know, in fact, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to it. Some people do, some people don't. As you can see, I am. Just because... I like olive oil. So we're going to plate this up. It's been sitting for a few minutes now. All the juices are in the bottom there. That's what's uh, cooking it all up good. So got myself a little uh, little centerpiece here to put it all together with. Make it look pretty. You know, people love to layer this with stuff. I should have juiced it out a little bit more. But I like it like that. And there we go, our ceviche is finished. We're gonna go sit down and give this a try. Hey y'all, so we got the ceviche. Um, it's all finished up. Uh, it's that fresh uh, Spanish mackerel we caught today. It looks beautiful. It's my wife, Crystal. Um, she hasn't uh, had ceviche before, but she's had crack conch, and she does love crack conch. So, you know, we're gonna give it a shot. Anyway, I served it with this, uh, it's like a guaca salsa verde. <laughs> Mi hermano Nemezio, he made it with me, all right? It is like uh, avocado-based guacamole with tomatillo, jalapeno, cilantro, and onion. It's just something we make as the day goes on. We make all kinds of crazy stuff, but anyway. So we're gonna serve it with that, and we have it on some, some to to tostadas, some chips, some crackers, whatever you like. Anyway, so let's give it a try. Here, babe, let's make it bite size. Bust an endo. Put a little guac on top. Salsa guacamole. <laughs> Salsa guacaba. Salsa guacaverde. How's that? Did I interrupt me? No, I made it up. This is a big bite. It is a big bite. Um, That's right. Just chunk it. It's not bite size. You can do it. Just do it. Make it happen. I'll catch it. See? Look, I got some salsa. Not bad, right? Salsa guacaverde. Good stuff, y'all. Woo! You can taste the jalapeno. It's tiny. Mm -hmm. It's good though. It's very good. It's got some bite, but I like it that way. Me too. <laughs> I like the little tang to it. Anyway, so thanks for tuning in today. More videos to come. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe already and hit the notification bell so you can know when I put more videos out. We're going to try to put them out every week. Let me know what you want to see me cook. Let me know what you want to see me catch, and I'll catch you later. All right, welcome back. Well, we gave up on the pretty play. We brought the whole bowl. We're going to finish this up. <laughs> Y'all come back next time and check us out. See you later. See you later. Y'all still here? Could you come over and clean up? Because, jeez, somebody's got to do it.